Hey guys and welcome to this video, we're going to be talking about Barbie and it's massive milestone of $1 billion at the box office. Whether you love it or hate it, you can't deny the success of this movie. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, stay up to date with all the movie news we have going on. So guys, we're going to dive into this JoeBlow.com article here and we're going to find out a little bit more about this massive $1 billion milestone that Barbie has managed to achieve at the box office. Moviegoers brought plenty of Kennedy to theatres over the weekend, helping Greta Gerwig's Barbie cross the 1 billion global mark. According to Box Office Mojo, Barbie rollerbladed past the milestone for a 1 billion plus worldwide total. The total finds Gerwig becoming the first woman to surpass the billion dollar mark as a solo director. Quote, As distribution chiefs, we're not often rendered speechless by a film's performance, but Barbillion has blown even our most optimistic predictions out of the water, said Warner Brothers' Jeff Goldstein, president of domestic distribution, and Andrew Cripps, president of international distribution. The quote continues, This is a watershed moment for Barbie, and no one but Greta Gerwig could have brought this cross-generational icon and her world to life in such a funny, emotional, and entertaining story. One that is resonating with all four quadrants of moviegoers and is literally turning the entire world pink. Long lines and repeat viewings prove that movies are back in a big way and we look forward to seeing just how far Barbie can go in the real world. Okay guys, with that done, we're going to jump over to this BBC article and read a little bit more into the story. So other female directors have helmed films that have surpassed the 1 billion mark, but working with others. Frozen, the animated blockbuster and its sequel have generated more than 1.4 billion in box office takings and were co-directed by Jennifer Lee and Chris Buck. Meanwhile, Captain Marvel, starring Brie Larson and co-directed by Anna Boden and Ryan Fleck, generated more than $1.1 in takings. The pink-hued film has received praise from critics and inspired scores of selfies at doll boxes installed in cinemas across the UK too. Yeah, so we have one of those down at my local cinema and there's always massive groups of people just taking funny pictures inside this big Barbie life-size um doll box uh you know with the barbie design all over the front of it there's people always queuing to take pictures in there you look on like social media there's people like posting um posting these pictures all over social media it's really become part of the zeitgeist and like the whole barbie kind of marketing thing as well um you got people taking pictures in the doll boxes you got people dressing up in pink um all the social media praise around it and it's really really like stuck into the zeitgeist of people and i think part of that culture and the zeitgeist of it all has kind of generated this huge interest in the movie which has you know gone on to uh make the box office as successful as it is in my opinion so starring margot robbie as barbie and ryan gosling as ken it has been drawn in 459 million so far in the us and 572 million internationally achieving barbillion <laughs> barbillion <laughs> first it was called barbenheimer and now it's called barbillion <laughs> yeah they just generate in these terms which is really really funny i wonder if they thought of that term barbillion when they first made the movie just in case it got to a billion dollars but yeah so barbillion as described by warner brothers is no mean feat just five other films have done so since the pandemic including the super mario brothers movie earlier this year spider-man no way home top gun maverick Jurassic World Dominion and the Avatar sequel. Cinema goers have often paired a viewing of Barbie, which tells a coming of age story of the iconic doll with Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, a story about the development of the first atomic bomb. Yeah, you got these two huge movies that came out on the same weekend and they were kind of just polar opposite movies. You got one about an atomic bomb, one about a life-size doll um, and just like people going online and creating memes and, you know, dressing up in cosplay and, you know, people have really, really got into the kind of the culture that's been built around these two films and they've played off against each other. And the success of these two films is just, you know, it's, it's more than what the movies are. You know, people just love getting, you know, getting into the culture of it all. And I, I think it's great. It's great to see people enjoying movies to this degree. As a film fan, it's really nice to see. So UK based chain of view. Uh, recently said both films led to the firm seeing of its busiest weekend in four years that's fantastic we need people in cinemas to keep the industry alive so that's fantastic news um robbie has also served as one of the producers on barbie according to an interviewer with collider she banked on making a billion dollars in early meetings and then quote i think i told them that it'd make a billion dollars which maybe i was overselling but we had to make a movie okay she told the publication the film's marketing campaign has been huge with pink billboards installed in cities around the world Pink TARDIS also appeared at Tower Bridge. I didn't know about that. I might have to go and have a look at that. 
Toy Maker Mattel is hoping to repeat the same success with other films. Yeah, so if you go on the internet, guys, just uh, Google Mattel, uh, I don't know, toy films or something like that. They've got, apparently they've got something like 30 or 40 projects in the works of their different toys and different IPs that they want to make. And uh, based on the success of this Barbie movie, I mean, how can you blame them? If they can repeat the success with other brands that Mattel has, I mean, you know, go for it. If people are going to love it and they're going to make money, it's all the more for it, I say. So, um... It released the soundtrack album and entered into more than 165 consumer product partnerships with the Barbie film, although it recently reported that its sales fell by 12% of the three months to the end of June. So yeah, that's kind of where we are, guys. So like I said at the beginning, love it or hate it, you cannot deny the success and the culture that's been built and established around this film. It's gone on to make more than a billion dollars, so the popularity is there. People have obviously done repeat viewings. People have took their friends and family. It's a four-quadrant film, which works in its favor. So, uh, yeah, guys, jump down to the comment section. I'd love to know what you think about this. Did you watch the film? What did you think of it? Did you expect it to make a billion dollars? And um, would you be up for seeing a sequel as well? And uh, cheers for watching, guys, and I will see you soon.